this is our solar inverter generator so it has an ac output 220 volts 200 watts it has a pv input and an ac input so just as we know when you talk about ac input it means the charging the charging port so it comes with an ac cord so you just have to plug the ac cord on the ac input you can see then to the sockets which you want to be charging this your solar inverter generator immediately it receives lights this comes up there is an indicator light here the indicator light automatically comes up and start blinking so if you want to still see the indicator light you can on the system you can see the indicator light so when you plug the indicator light starts blinking for you to know that it's charging we have four indicator light here though we only have two now because the inverter generator is a bit down so each of the indicator light in signifies 25 percent so the first is 25 the second 25 making it 50 the third 25 making it 75 and the fourth 25 making it 100 percent so when you have your indicator light on tool like we have here it means this this solar generator is between the range of 25 to 50 percent same when you have three it means it is in between the range of 50 to 75 percent and so on and so forth so let's test our ac as we have already powered our solar generator so this is our extension socket so we want to test our ac output so you can see your extension socket is on now you can see the indicator light you can see it's off you can see it's on so whatever i plug on my extension socket will receive current and this has the ability to power your fan mini your fan your your television radio and other sound system but the water should not exceed 200 watts that's the capacity it can carry at the go but it's a 1000 watt hour solar generator but at the go it can carry 200 watts load capacity so we are done with our ac input and our ac output so we want to go to our pv input so for our pv input it comes with a pv cable so these are pv cable and you can see our pv input ports so we are going to do the connection now so the requirements for the pv input is a 200 watt panel so you need a 200 watt panel of around 12 to 36 volts which the, the maximum pv of the panel should not exceed 36 volts if not it's going to trigger and affect the solar generator so you need a panel watt of maximum of 200 you can use 150 you can use 100 but it shouldn't exceed 200 watts and the pv of that panel should be between 12 to 36 volts so every panel comes with a positive and negative um wire you can see this is the positive this is the negative normally some comes with a clip so our solar generator already has that clip so assuming your panel comes with a clip it's just for you to um identify your positive and clip to the positive you can see the positive here you identify your positive of your panel you extend your wire clip to the positive of your solar generator pv cable you identify your negative and you click to the negative of your solar generator pv cable now before you plug to your solar generator please ensure you use your meter to identify the port that is your positive and your negative because there is no indication here so with that we have our meter here to indicate to verify our positive and negative so you can see my meter so i'm having a negative a minus sign 
with my meter meaning i didn't connect well i took my i, I assumed here is my positive and here is my negative and it, my meter is showing me that is that i didn't connect well so i take it back put my negative put my positive so with this my meter is no longer showing the minus sign it means for my meter which this is my positive of my meter if you trace this wire you can see the red cable which is my positive of my meter and this is my negative of my meter so it means that my connect from this port here this is my positive and this is my negative so i've already identified my positive and negative from those ports then i will now balance it with the pv input you can see here you can see we have our positive and we have our negative hope it's showing the positive and negative sign here you can see this is the plus this is the minus so after already indicating your positive and negative using your meter so it's for you to plug so immediately you plug if you have your connections right this light comes up and start blinking you can see so immediately start blinking that means it's charging from the panel so that's the connection from the panel to the solar generator